The warming ocean waters off the Florida coast have had a devastating impact on Florida's coral reef, the third largest barrier reef system in the world. In tonight's In Depth, Manuel Bajorca's reports, scientists now believe they have found at least one way to give the coral a fighting chance. To understand the significance of this boat ride off Miami's coast, you'd have to go back to where this journey started off the Caribbean coast of Honduras and a species known as Elkhorn coral that forms the skeleton of a healthy reef. This place is called Tella Bay in Honduras. Uh, it's really warm and it's the kinds of conditions where corals have to be really tough to survive. But Andrew Baker of the University of Miami's Rosenstiel School of Marine Science says the same species of coral in Florida's reef has been nearly wiped out by a combination of factors, including warming waters due to climate change. Over the last 50 years or so, we've lost more and more of these Elkhorn corals, culminating in 2023 when we had this really warm summer that killed well over 95% of the remaining Elkhorn corals. 95%? More than 95%, yeah. And in order for that population to recover, uh, it was determined that we need more diversity from outside of the Florida population. Enter the Honduran Elkhorn. First, scientists with telemarine conservationists would have to carefully pluck coral from the reef in Honduras that thrive in warmer waters. Permits would be needed for the special transport of the fragments into the United States, where scientists with the University of Miami and the Florida Aquarium in Tampa would crossbreed them with Florida's Elkhorn. Now to that boat ride near Miami. It's the first time ever in the world that an international cross of corals from different countries has been permitted for outplanting on wild reefs. It was time to plant the babies onto Florida's reef underneath these protective umbrella trees. Carrie O'Neill is with the Florida Aquarium. If these corals can live through the next marine heat wave, then that is critical for our coastal protection on the coast of Florida. Coastal protection because the reefs help break up hurricane-fueled waves that could flood South Florida's coastline. We need to now scale this up and be outplanting hundreds of thousands of baby corals all throughout the reef. And there are ways to do that, but we've got to gear up and get going. Baker has nicknamed the new population Flanduran and is hoping they can be a sea change in the fight to protect this reef. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Miami.